Let's talk this Robo Rock from a practical standpoint and how we actually use it after having it for a year. This one does have a mop feature. We've never used that. It doesn't seem to be super practical on this one. It basically just drags a pad around and uh, for us, our floors get dirty enough that we need some scrubbing power. So we mop by hand. The self emptying system is pretty loud but it works extremely well into the empties into the bags. I was surprised at how well it works. As long as you don't leave majorly large things on the ground, it's going to suck it up and then empty itself. And that feature is fantastic. Next is durability. This is very durable. My three year olds even hopped on it and it went for a ride. They have a lot of fun with it. It's like a pet and it works great still. The simplicity of cleaning out these things is fantastic. It's really easy and it's really well designed. So for example, the red goes in the front and the gray goes in the back, but the way they designed these tips, so this one's a star and this one here is like a flathead. And so you cannot put the wrong tip in the wrong side and that makes it really nice. If it gets jammed, it's gonna be jammed right in here and you'll have to pull whatever out that jammed it. And then it sucks through here into the outlet. And then that's where this comes out, which is the trash, but that'll automatically suck up into the housing and go into this bag. The software is great. The hardware is really good. It's super easy to program the rooms. The only downside to this one is it's like, it includes the mop feature, but it doesn't quite seem good enough to make it worth using. Now, if you don't have pets or kids, it might be more worth using, but in our house, we have there's always gonna be a banana stuck to the ground or something, and this won't get that up. You gotta get on your hands and knees. So in my specific scenario, the mop doesn't make as much sense. On hardwood floors or vinyl floors like this, it has this really cool feature to where if it misses dust, it like detects it and goes back and gets it. And so it cleans up really good on the hardwares as well as carpets, as well as the transition from hardware to carpet. It does great as well, it climbs right over it. The stuck location, we have one location where it gets stuck in our house, right here. It'll hop over this and then can't get over the second one and it'll high center itself on this little end table. And the odd thing is it doesn't do that every time, just occasionally, but if you press it at night or you have it automatically start at night, to clean the whole house and you come down in the morning and it's one third cleaned and that area is, it's stuck right there, that can be annoying. But that just happens sometimes and it hasn't been that big of an inconvenience.